Hello, fifth graders. Are you ready with your book, Weekend 4? Good, let's start. Today we are going to be taking Unit 4, My Things. So our lesson today is My Things. I would like you to prepare your books on pages 26, 27, and 28. By the end of this lesson, you're going to say, I can act out the talks about candy with a partner. Number two, I will be able to count from 1 to 30. Also, you're going to be able to name things on your desk. So you're going to say, I'm, can, I'm, I will uh, name things on my desk and say the chant. Okay, so let's start. So as we said, unit four, my things. Whenever you say my, it means something that belongs to you. So when you say my things, you mean my belongings, the things that belong to me. Okay, what do you see in the picture? We have two girls and they have in front of them or on the desk, they have what? Their things, right? So this girl has her bag with her things in it and also this girl, the same thing. So they're gonna have a conversation about their things. They're gonna talk about their things and one of them is gonna offer or ask for one of the thi uh, her things from the other. So when you ask for something from someone else, what do you say? You say, can I have, can I have? This will be the main question we uh, use today. And also you're gonna use how many, okay? So let's listen to the conversation about between the two girls, and then we're gonna have them one by one. Can I have some candy? Sure, here you go. Great, thanks. How many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. That's a lot. Can I have some candy? Sure. Here you go. Great. Thanks. How many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's a lot. It's a lot, right? So what did you learn here? We learned how to ask for something by saying, can I have, can I have some candy? What did her friend say? Sure, of course, sure, here you go. She's giving her some of her candy. And the, the friend said, great, thanks. And then she asked another question, said, how many are there? What did her friend say? Let's count them. When someone asks you with how many, you're gonna answer with a number, but you need to count sometimes. So she said, let's count them. And they started counting from one to 30. And they said, that's a lot, a lot of candy, right? Okay, so as we said, the main question in our lesson, we have two questions. Number one is, can I have? When you want to ask for something, you say, can I, can I? If you want to ask for uh, something to take or to have some of the things, you say, can I have some candy? You can change candy by saying, can I have some water? Can I have a pencil or can I have, uh, for example, a, a book, something like that? The answer would be, sure, here you go. If the person is going to give you what you ask for, they would say, sure, or of course, or yes, you can. So, sure, here you go. You see the pronunciation of the S-U? We say, sh, 
sh, S-U-R is pronounced sure. So sure, here you go. Question number two, how many are there? So she's asking about a number. When, when you start the question with how many, the answer has to be a number. So she said, how many are there? And her friend said, 30. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here, let's go to the fun time lesson. In this lesson, you see that the teacher is playing a game with her students. What's the name of the game? Word hunt. So she asked her students, are you ready? And they said, yes, we are. And she started by saying a word. So what's the technique of the game? It says, when you get a row of letters, shout row. A row of le the letters means uh, letters in the same line, either vertically or horizontally. Let's check it from here in a closer look. Yes, you see here? So the, 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 the game should look like this. You're going to have letters in uh, squares in its poster. And you try to find out a word by connecting the letters. So for example, here you see the, the letter B, O, OK. We made a word, book, here. W R I T, right. So whenever you find a word, you can shout row. If you find two words in the same line and you shout row, you would be the winner in some cases. Others play it like by saying just find one word and then you win. In other games, you can find two words in the same line and then you win. So what is the game called? It's called crosswords or word hunt, okay? I would advise you to do it on your own. By doing, it's very easy. So you can uh, make a, like this, a poster and divide it into squares and write the letters in each square to make out words on your own. For example, here I had B-O-O -O to make book. Here you have B-E-D, what does it make? Bed. C-A-N-D, spell candy. U-P, up. So if, I, if you find three words in the same line, you're going to say row, row, and you will be the winner. You can finish this like that, and you make your own game and play it with your friends and sisters. It would be a lot of fun. Okay, let's go now to the rhythms and listening. In this uh, lesson, we're going to chant and point. So as you listen with me to the chant, point at the words with me, okay? What are we going to be uh, talking about in this chat? We're going to be talking about things on my desk. When I say things on my desk, what are the things usually on your desk when you're studying? You have pens, pencils, paper, yes, glue, scissors, erasers or rubbers, candy, and so on. Okay, let's listen together. Pens and pencils, pens and pencils, paper and glue, paper and glue, scissors and erasers, scissors and erasers, candy for you, candy for you. Okay, let's say it together. Pens and pencils, pens and pencils, paper and glue, paper and glue. Scissors and erasers, scissor and erasers, candy for you, candy for you. So these are the main words we're learning here. Let's t check them. So number one is the word pencils. These are the things on my desk. I have pencils. These are the pencils. How many pencils do you have here? Count. One, two, three. Perfect. Spell the word pencils. P E N. C-I-L-S. Excellent. And also you have, what do you see here? Pens. Very good. P-E-N-S. Pens. Also you have paper. P-A-P-E-R. Paper. Also you have glue. So these are different types of glue. Okay? All these things are things on your desk. What else can you have on your desk? You can have also scissors. You can have scissors. 
Also, maybe you will have erasers or rubbers. Very good. And maybe you would have some candy. Maybe you will have on your desk some candy. Okay, now let's go to the sounds and letters. It says here, listen, say, and match. So we're going to match the words with the pictures. Then write the missing letter. Later on, we're going to fill in the spaces with the missing letters. Let's read the words first. We have here, smile, snail, small, snack. Okay, can you guess what are the sounds we're stressing today or what are the sounds we're learning today? Yes, the S-M and the S-M. Let's listen. Are you ready? Let's practice first. SM says, sm, sm, smile, sm, sm, smile. SM says, sm. Sorry. Are you ready? Let's practice first. SM says, sm, sm, smile, sm, sm, smile. SM says, sm, sm, smile, sm, sm, smile. SN says, sm, sm, snail, sm, sm, snail. SN says, sm, sm, snail, sm, sm, snail. Now say and match. Smile, smile. Snail, snail. Smile, smile. Snail, snail. Small, small. Snack, snack. Small, small. Snack, snack. Snails are small and quiet. Snails are small and quiet. Now write the missing letters. Okay. So what are you going to do here? You're going to connect the words with the pictures. So here, this is a small creature. We connected it with the word small. Smile, connect it with the boy smiling. Snail, you have to connect it with the snail. And snack goes here with the sandwiches and fries snack. Here, you're going to be filling the missing letters. So here, snail. What is missing in the word snail? Let's go and see where is snail. Yes. What is missing? S-N. Snail. Here, what is missing? Snails are the word that ends with A-L-L. -L. Where is it? Small. Very good. So I add S-M. Snails are small and quiet. Do you agree? Yes, they are small and quiet. Very good. Okay, now we're going to go to the workbook. So we're going to see how we're going to answer our exercises in the workbook. In number one, it says listen, point, and practice. This is going to be in your workbook, page 87. Page 87. Listen, point, and practice. So you're going to read the conversation. Can I have some candy? This is the question we practiced. Can I have some candy? Sure, here you are. Thanks. So what are you going to do? You're going to read it again and again, and then you're going to trace. Don't forget to trace. So you have to trace the words uh, using your pen or your pencil as you like. It will look like this. This is how it's going to look after you do it. Can I have some candy? Sure, here you go. Thanks. Okay. Here it says, can you unscramble the words and say the sentences? So what do I have here? This is also page 87. Number two, what do you do in this uh, exercise? You have words that are not in the correct order. They are scrambled. What are you going to do? You're going to unscramble, meaning putting them in the correct order. So we have the word have, can, I, candy, some, and then we have a question mark. Whenever you see the question mark, you look for a word that starts a question. 
Which word do you think can start the question? Maybe can, yes. So we're gonna start with can. Can I have some candy? Excellent. So your answer is gonna look like this. Can I have some candy? Can I have some candy? If you answered it correctly, you deserve a star. In this exercise, this is going to be page 88. So go to the next page, page 88, and look at number one. Listen, point, and practice. Then write the missing numbers. So here, what are we going to be writing? Numbers on the candy. So we have some candy that has no number, right? You're going to write the missing numbers. And this is going to be, help you. So you have here the numbers from 1 to 30. Any missing number? Write it on any empty candy, okay? So the conversation is the same. How many are there? She asked her, how many are there? And her friend said, let's count them. They started counting from one to 30. And this, she said, that's a lot, very good. So that's a lot of candy. You see here we have one, we have two, three, four, five, and continue until you see where is the missing number? The missing number, you should write it here. The one that is not there, write it in the empty candy. So how is the answer going to look like? It's going to look like this. I have 21 missing. I wrote it here. 22 missing here. And 23. 20. You see, these are the missing numbers. Okay? After you finish answering, also, don't forget to practice reading. Now we go to... Uh, a very nice exercise. Also, it's on page 88, number two. What does it say, this exercise? It says, say and write 30 to 1. So what are you going to do? You're going to write the numbers from 30 to 1. So you're going to go backwards. From 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, so on, until you go to number 1. You understand the exercise? Yes. After you finish, say the numbers on your own. Say them backwards, okay? So how is your answer going to look? It's going to look like this. 30, 29, 28. Try to make your handwriting small so that the space will be enough for you. 26, 25, 24, 23, and so on until we reach number one. If you finish this exercise, correctly, you deserve two stars. It's a good exercise. Now what does this exercise say? It says chant by yourself. You remember the chant? Pens and pencils. Pens and, yeah, you should say it again with, while you're answering this uh, exercise. Chant by yourself and write the missing letters. You all like this exercise. It asks you to fill in the missing letters. So what are the missing letters in this word? What do you see in the picture? Pens, very good. What is missing from the word pen? E. What is missing also from the word pen? We, have, we don't only have one pen, we have pens. So we're going to add the S for the plural. Pencil, we have P, and also we have the S for the plural. Paper, we're going to add the A and the, what do you think? Yes, the E, paper. Here, what, what are you going to add? What is this? Do you have the word written here? So you're going to use it. Glue. G-L-U-E. What's this picture? Scissors. You have, uh, you have to add the I and the S. Perfect. And your favorite word, I think, candy. Very good. You're going to add the C and also you're going to add the Y. So how is your answer going to look like? It will look like this. Pens, pencils, paper, glue, scissors, candy. So make sure after you finish writing them, checking your answers and reading the answers. You have to read the answers to make sure that everything is correct. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And goodbye.